Did you know that Nancy with the laughing face, like from the John Coltrane Ballads album, did you know that's the same A section changes as Body and Soul? I had no idea until yesterday, Bob Franceschini, who's one of the other saxophonists doing the inside outside retreat with me, one of the other founders, he was talking about some stuff that we could do at the camp and he, and he was like, oh yeah, Nancy with the laughing, laughing face, the same changes as Body and Soul. And I was like, what? And I just went back and listened to it. And it is, I mean, it's, there's some differences. The bridge is different, but the A section is the same. It's just that Coltrane does it up, I guess a major third. So it never like, that never caught my ear, but check this out. I'll play his version of Nancy with the laughing face in the background, and then I'll play the melody to body and soul just transposed up a third. <laughs> I'm a big believer in practicing things that I can't do. Don't get me wrong, I don't wanna do it all the time. If, if I never played anything that felt good, comfortable, strong, confident about, you know, that's not great for morale. But in general, it's not a good idea, in my opinion, to waste time in the practice room doing stuff that I already can do. This morning, I was working on some mechanisms. Okay, it's 6.30 a.m. My plan is to shut off every device, internet, phone, everything. I mean, the computer's on so that I can run my metronome through my monitor speakers, but other than that, the next 90 minutes is about practicing. When I say mechanisms, to me that just means repetitive, um, small, like, finger exercises, things that are tricky on the saxophone that could happen between one or two or three notes, and I'll work them at different rhythms at the same beat. Uh, most of the time I do it with a metronome, but this morning I was doing it with a with a drum loop that's on the faster kind of an up-tempo swing thing, which is kind of cool because when you practice that way, then you're like already throwing yourself into the environment or the context that can sometimes be intimidating, right? Like somebody calls a tune that's fast and, and you feel uncomfortable there. Well, why not just practice in that environment, but you don't have to play fast. You can play and execute slow. <laughs> Yeah, I was trying to do something with um, triplets against a four feel that was really throwing me for a loop. It's hard, it's hard to get in that zone. So much more rewarding to work on something like that than it is to just like play the same old think about that when you're practicing try to do stuff that you're not currently able to do i gotta go do a bunch of errands and stuff with the boy are oh, you gonna help no 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 can't eat that <laughs> needs to be more slanted is the problem uh, yeah uh, i know that's what i think maybe that fixes it we should try it are you gonna help or are you just gonna sit there and stare this doesn't go that works right high five yeah <laughs> 